Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Espero que estén muy bien. Uh, welcome to a new en vivo or <laughs> welcome to a new live stream. Today we are going to do a crossword puzzle about social media. Hmm. So it's going to be very interesting. So, uh, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. You can also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. Actually, you can download this crossword puzzle for free. So you can um, find that link in the video description down below, uh, the direct link to download the today's crossword puzzle and previous crossword puzzles. Uh, so yeah, you can do that on smlessons.com. Um, 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 <laughs> and yes, there are actually, yeah, I have a bunch of links in the video description down below. So please feel free to check that out. Aha, uh -huh. so I want to give a big, big, big shout out to our members. Uh, or Cerveza members, KS and William Lopez. Thank you guys for the support for the cerveza. It's delicious. La cerveza es deliciosa. And also I want to give a big shout out to Keith Pearson. Uh, thank you, Keith, for the coffee and uh, for the support as well. Thank you to the members on this channel. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the support. If you want me to give you a shout out and for more perks, please click on the join button down below so you can check out the memberships. We have three different ones and all of them have different perks. So yes, check that out if you like what I do and if you would like to support this channel. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. also another way to support this channel is by giving the thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm very excited. Today we're going to do a crossword puzzle about social media, guys. And I see KS on the live chat. Hello, KS. Hola, KS. Aha. Uh -huh. So. He's saying, lo mismo aquí, me gusta la comida picante también. Es día de los inocentes de abril. Ganar, perder o empatar, simplemente dejar los juegos, que los juegos comiencen. Ooh, and also, ¿cómo andas? Estoy muy bien, muchas gracias, muchas gracias, KS. Espero que tú también estés muy bien. And yeah, today... Well, we keep score, guys. We keep score and we keep two different scores. We keep today's score and we keep a monthly score. Uh, so what's the difference or what's the point of this? The point is that if you win the most times during this month, you get a chance to join us on a podcast episode, okay? So you can give your opinion on what we're going to talk about. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, we already had a, a special guest, uh, William Lopez, was uh, on one uh, of the episodes on, on, in the live stream and it was very fun. It was very nice for sure. So let's see who wins this month. I'm very excited. Roger Mohan. Hello. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, Roger. Are you ready to play? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so social media. Man, this is going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> because nowadays social media is very popular and we are going to talk or you guys are going to, to guess the words related to social media. Of course, in Spanish. And I'm going to choose the first one. Let's see if you're ready, guys. The first one that I'm going to choose is... Let me see. Something easy. Something easy, guys. I have four, 15 words. Okay, so we have 15 words. 
and uh, yeah we have quite a few words let's see let's see i'm going to do four across cuatro horizontal that is right here guys right here and let's see let's see the definition four across has four letters as well and also i forgot guys we have a timer so as i'm gonna start a timer when I start reading the definition okay and then it's two minutes so two minutes I think two, two minutes is more than enough and if no one guesses the word then I'm going to reveal it myself okay so I think it's going to be a bit more interesting to do it this way let's see how it goes okay so two minutes guys two minutes okay so four across I'm going to it's <laughs> I'm gonna try to read everything super fast okay four across guys let me find the definition mm hmm so the time starts now um, hang on <laughs> not now <laughs> almost now <laughs> okay so let me just do that okay the time starts now a service used to upload and back up your media, such as pictures, documents, or files, okay? So this is called, or you use this to back up, you, you need to upload the files, right? And it's used to back up your media. You need, you need a backup, okay? And we're talking about pictures, documents, or files. Do you know the answer? <laughs> uh-huh. It's just one word. One word, guys. And it has four letters. Four letters. A service used to upload. I can name one. Google Drive. What is that? Google Drive. What is that? Also, um, Dropbox is one of, of those things. So what is the service that they offer? Okay, so it's also similar to uh, something that you look in the sky, something white, okay? KS, KS got the answer. Oh my God, that was intense. <laughs> Having a timer is like quite intense. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna stop the timer right there. And uh, yeah. <laughs> KS has the answer. I see that uh, you said, you guys said like, compartir, cargar, disk, uh, red, and nube. Okay, so nube is the answer. We're talking about nube. And that means, let me show you the word. <laughs> uh huh. Let me show you the actual word, nube. Nube means cloud. Voy a subir mis documentos a la nube. Okay, I'm going to upload my documents or files to the cloud. Nube, la nube, the cloud. Excellent, good job, KS. I'm going to give you a point. KS, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, that's what nube, nube means. And also it means cloud as literally a cloud, okay, in the sky. Uh-huh, so now KS is saying dos vertical, dos vertical. Let's see where that is. Dos vertical, that is two down, guys, two down, two down. Let's see, uh-huh, I see the word right here. And this word has six, seven letters. Seven letters, guys. And let's see what this word is about. Aha. Uh -huh. Just let me get the definition <laughs> ready. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, two down, two down. Okay, I got the definition. So let's just reset the timer so the time starts now exchange 
messages online in real time with one or more simultaneous users of a computer network. So this is a verb, guys, and it's the action of exchanging ex exchanging messages online in real time with others, uh, with one person or multiple users. And usually you do it on your computer, you use your keyboard for that, and yeah, how do you say this in Spanish? What What's the verb that you need? when you need to <laughs> to talk to someone online by typing some words uh-huh so what is it what is it what is it uh-huh i see wow guys you are fast you are fast <laughs> I see the answer, ding, ding, ding. I see the answer already. Uh, Arumina2021, hello. Hola, Arumina, welcome. And Roger says, chatear, que es chatear. Uh, Trenton Tampa, charlat, charlar. Okay, so that's a good one. And um, actually, yes, chatear, that's the verb, guys. That's the verb that we need, chatear. It sounds very similar to to chat in English, okay? Chatear, to chat. That's what you do. So, excellent. Who was the first one to answer? Roger. Roger. I see Roger was the first one, and then um, KS, and then Trent. Welcome, Trent. Um, but let's <laughs> let's let's just uh, give the point to Roger. Wow, I like this. <laughs> I really like this. You can feel the adrenaline. Oh my goodness! Okay, Roger, one point for Roger. Excellent job, guys. That's amazing. Uh huh. So Roger says now eight across, eight across. And James Sager is also on the live chat. A ver, estamos rápido. Yes, this is this is something quick, guys. Okay, <laughs> and I think it, I like it. I just I just thought we should have a timer, right? Just to to to, to put something, just to have something interesting there, right? So <laughs> let me find the number eight across. Okay, let's do that. Eight across. Awesome. Uh -huh. Okay, I see the word right here. Remember, as soon as I highlight the word, you can start guessing. Okay, so let's keep that. Let's keep that. I know we have a timer, but let's, let's keep the guessing uh, as soon as I... Or let's start the guessing as soon as I highlight the word. Okay, so this word has six, seven, seven letters, and the second letter is the letter A. A. Okay, let me find a definition. Let me have everything ready for you. Uh huh. Okay, this word is gonna have two words. Okay, two words, two words. So it's a short phrase. It's a short phrase. Okay, I'm going to reset the timer. Uh, okay, and the time starts now. So two words, a quick way of showing that you literally like the content posted by simply clicking a button, okay? So how do you call this? A quick way of showing that you literally like the content posted by simply clicking a button. And you should do that for this video, for sure. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh -huh. So two words. Two words, guys. A quick way of showing that you like something, some content, usually on YouTube. You can do that also on Facebook. And Instagram has a different thing. But how do you call when when I, I, I start a video and I say, if you like what I do, please. And there's this thing, right? <laughs> this, this symbol right here. 
How do you say this in Spanish? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, excellent. Ding, ding, ding. I see, I see the answer. Aha! Uh -huh. But before, I like to say, um, I would like to read a few of your messages. Ari Arima, oh, Arumi, Arumi, uh, sorry, Arumin, Arunima, sorry, 2021. I have been learning Spanish for last for last two years in school and it's great. Delight to come across with this channel. Thank you so much, Arunima. Uh, I'm glad that you like what uh, this channel has. So that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much and welcome, of course, welcome. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So Roger said, me aslo. Eugene, Eugene said, Eugene Edwards, welcome Eugene, me gusta. Okay, okay, so that is, yes. That is actually the answer, me gusta. You could also say dale like, like James is saying, dale like. Yeah, you, you can say that. In Spain, people say dale un like, like, <laughs> okay? So that's quite interesting. Uh, so me gusta, that is the answer, the correct answer. So let me show you guys. Me gusta, me gusta. That means like. If I say, uh, por favor, regálame un me gusta, that means please like this video. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that means, me gusta. So who is the first one to answer? Eugene. Yeah, Eugene. Or Eugene, 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 sorry. <laughs> Eugene, so let's give a point to Eugene. So let me just change the name here. And Eugene. Okay, Eugene has one point. Excellent, excellent. Good job, guys. Uh, me aslo, yeah, Roger. I don't know what, <laughs> what that, uh, yeah, it's not the answer. Ma, Roger says my response made no, no sense. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> but it was great. It was great. Good job, guys. Now, Eugene, can you please let us know the next number? Okay, so remember, if you answer correctly, you need to let me know, or if you were the first one to answer correctly, you get to let me know the next number. So remember that. So, <laughs> Eugene, are you there? Or do you want me to choose a, a number for you? I can do that as well. Let's see. Five. You got it. You got it. Thank you. So let's do five down, guys. And that is right here. Right here. Okay. Five. So it's a long, a longish word. This has three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven letters, guys. So it's a long one. Let me see if this is one word or two words. Um, this is one word, actually. One word. Uh -huh. Okay, so I found... Yeah, <laughs> I see... James says he said five. Yeah, I see. I see that. <laughs> That's what I have here. Five down. Five down. <laughs> what? what are we talking about? Okay, so five down, guys. The time starts now. A piece of writing, image, or other item of content 
published online, typically on a blog or social media website, okay? So it's a piece of writing or it could be also an image or other item, it could be a video as well. Uh, published online, typically on a blog or social media website. So every time you go on Facebook uh, and you start typing something, you wanna share something, what do you call to that, okay? Specifically, a piece of writing, image, or other item of content published, okay? And it has to be online, typically on a blog or social media website. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, yes, you're very close, but we're, we're talking about the piece. It, it's a noun, okay? It's not, yes. It's not a verb, it's a noun. Publicación, publicación. Let's see, let's see if that's the answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the answer. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, that is the answer, guys. Publicación, publicación, publicación. That means post, okay? So I know it's such a long word for post in Spanish, but that's how it's called, publicación. Um, so, KS gets a point. He was the only one answering this correctly. Good job, KS. Awesome. Okay, so KS gets a point. Uh, pre that's pretty cool. And KS also says seis vertical. Seis vertical. You got it, KS. Let's see where that is. Six down, guys. And that's right here. Six down. Seis vertical. And this word has three, six, seven, eight, nine letters. The first letter is the letter E. E. Okay. So what is this? This word about? Let me find the definition. Okay, so I found it. Uh huh. So this is going to be a verb, guys. I'm gonna let you know that in advance. This this is gonna be a verb. Okay. So the time starts now. Add a word, phrase, or name to some digital content to identify it as belonging to a particular category or concerning a particular person or topic. So you do this a lot on Twitter. Uh, so you add words, a phrase, it could be a phrase or a name to certain digital content to identify it as belonging to a particular category or concerning a particular person or topic. Aha, uh -huh, and it's a verb. Good job, KS. Ding, ding, ding. That is the answer. Wow, you are fast. You're fast, KS. Aha, uh -huh, so that is the answer. Etiquetar. Etiquetar. Let me show you the answer on the crossword. Etiquetar. Okay, uh, and this means, do you know what this means? This means to tag, when you tag something, you know, uh, or uh, hashtags, you know, when you add hashtags to, to certain content on Twitter, uh, so, or anywhere, pretty much, so etiquetar, but, uh, it's also when you, for example, when you tag, to tag some somebody, right, on Facebook. Uh, so that's also a thing, etiquetar, when you add a tag specifically to any digital content. Okay, KS, KS gets the point. Aha! Uh -huh. KS gets a point. He was the first one to answer. Etiquetar. Roger also says etiquetar. 
etiqueta James Sager that is uh, very close but um, yeah we're talking about a verb so KS gets the point good job KS KS says on social media algunas personas ponen una publicación extraña oh yeah well it happens right it happens thank you for sharing KS Aha, uh -huh. siete vertical. That's what KS is saying. So let's do that one. Let's find it first. Siete vertical. Seven down. Okay, so that's right here, guys. It has three, six, six letters. Six letters, guys. So let me find the word. Mm -hmm. And let me see if this is a verb or a noun. Okay, so this is this is a noun. This is a noun, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Seven down. Six letters. Okay, the time starts now. On a social media website or application, we're talking about a user's summary of their personal details or current situation okay so we're talking about a user's summary of their personal details or current situation that's very common to you can find that on facebook that's very common um, but yeah typically on a social media website or application uh, so yes it's a user's summary of all their personal details like name website where they where they live uh, what they like and all of that so how do you call that and the famous um what is it dating status like relationship status or something like that <laughs> okay so ding 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 i see the answer good job ks uh okay james james sager says uh tag okay so it's not tag or i don't know if that was the previous one uh ks says perfil perfil and james says profil prof almost like profile yes perfil you're correct ks we are talking about perfil ¿Cuál es tu perfil? Déjame ver tu perfil. Perfil. Do you know what this means, guys? This means profile. Just the profile, okay? So, yeah, it's the, the common thing that people check every time when they, you know, when they uh, friend someone. Like they usually see their profile sometimes um, and just, yeah. You can see the picture and interesting things about the person's life. So yeah, perfil, profile. And KS, KS gets the point. Good job, KS. You're killing it. Awesome. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, which one should we do, KS? Which one is next? We have, okay, 14 horizontal. Let's do that one. Thank you, KS. So let me find that 14 horizontal. So that's 14, 14 down, guys. 14 down. Let's see where that is. Okay, so that's right here. It has three, six, seven, eight eight letters eight letters so yeah eight letters let's let's see let me find the definition 14 down guys aha uh -huh, i see already the definition aha uh -huh. okay so the time starts now someone who subscribes or opts in to receive updates 
from a business or brand on, on a social media network, okay? So someone, how do you call this person who subscribes or opts in to receive updates from a business or brand on social media, on a social media network? So how do you call this person? Usually you have that on Instagram, okay? And also on Twitter. So how do you call that kind of person who subscribes uh, and they want to know everything like they want to receive updates from a person you know some some person online somebody who who tweets a lot um, and it's it's not it's it's specifically something that can be found on Twitter and Instagram so Mm -hmm. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. We have, we have a right answer. Awesome. Wow, man, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> uh huh. So, guys, the <laughs> right answer is. Let's see. Let's see the answer. Seguidor. 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 And that means follower, follower. Aha, uh -huh. so <laughs> let's see. Lynette, hi, welcome. Uh, you, yeah, that, that was almost complete. Your answer was almost correct, but uh, Roger was the first one to answer. Seguidor, seguidor. And KSS notification or not notificacion. Yeah, uh, we were talking about a person, right? Uh -huh. James says miembro. Yeah, that's a great answer. Trent also says seguidor. Uh -huh. James was very close. Seguidor, follower. Okay, now, who was the first one? Roger. Roger, you, my friend, you will get a point right now. Excellent, Roger. Uh, now, can you please, Roger, can you please let us know the next number? Ooh, <laughs> you're doing a great job, guys. That is amazing. Doce vertical. Let's find the number. 12 vertical, so that is, I think it, it's 12 horizontal, 12 across, that's the only 12 we have. Uh, thank you, Roger. Now, where is this word? Ooh, right at the, almost at the bottom of the crossword. The second letter is the letter O, and this word has six, seven, eight, nine nine letters nine letters aha uh -huh. let me find the definition mm -hmm. okay let's do this let's do this okay so the time let me reset that the time starts now Post or repost of something on social, on a social media website or platform, or also on some application. Okay, so how do you call? Um, it's a verb, by the way, guys. It's a verb. So how do you call the action of posting or reposting something on a social media website or application? Um, Usually, yeah, it, what is the action of that? You are letting others know something, right? So what is the action of posting or repost something on a social media website or application? Aha, ding, 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 we have an answer. We have a correct answer right here. I see on the live chat. Roger says postear, which is a great answer 
Um, but remember, we have nine letters, and I think postear has four, uh, five, six, seven, seven letters. So let me tell you that KS is correct. And also K, semi-nomadic. Welcome, K. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, compartir, compartir. That means to share, okay? When you want to share anything, that's like the action of posting. And you can see actually when you're, I think when you're typing something, you can see the button saying compartir, comparte, or something like that. So I, I believe that <laughs> that's the case, but the action, the verb that you would use for this action is compartir. And that means to share, okay? <laughs> uh, KS, KS gets the point. KS gets a point. Good job, KS. This is getting interesting. This is getting very interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, Roger says, so sorry for the uh, vertical. It's fine. No worries. I get confused as well sometimes with vertical, horizontal. Yeah, so no worries about that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, says, nos gusta compartir una parte demasiado. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, can you please let us know the next number? Quince horizontal. Thank you, KS. So let's do that one. Quince horizontal. So that's 15 across, guys. 15 across. And let's find the word 15 across. <laughs> now, this word has three, six, nine. Nine letters again. Nueve letras. The second letter is the letter E. <laughs> and um, Roger says KS is a beast. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's answering pretty quickly so that is amazing you're doing a terrific job guys aha uh -huh. so let me find the definition 15 across guys 15 across okay i found the definition mm -hmm. okay the time guys starts starts now, a website and application that enable or enables users to create and share content or to participate in social networking. So how do you call to one, it's singular, by the way, a website or an application that enables users to create and share content? or to participate in social networking. So this could be Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. So what do you call to that particular thing? Okay. And it's singular guys, singular. I know that we call all those apps something, but in Spanish, it's you can call one thing, you know, like a singular thing. And then we have a plural one. By the way, this has also um, two words. Yeah, two words. Sorry about that. I didn't mention that. Uh -huh. Ding, ding, ding. We have an answer. We have an answer. I, <laughs> I see it. Man. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> James says red social, red social. And let me tell you that James, you are correct. Red social, red social, that means social media. Okay, so just one. Redes sociales is like the whole thing, you know, the whole package, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. But if you're talking about one, you can call it red social. Okay. 
and that means just social media uh, or also social network so <laughs> yeah uh -huh. James you my friend you will get a point okay so I'm just gonna change the name to James great job James now James is James is saying once once let's do that one thank you James 11 down guys once vertical so <laughs> this this one is right here and we can see that it has seven letters three six seven siete letras seven letters so let me find the definition for you guys and let's see let's see mm -hmm. this is going to be a verb this is a verb guys a verb and let me just let the time the time guys the time starts now oops There you go. The action of adding someone to a list of, uh, of friends, your list of friends on social media. So what is the action of adding someone to a list of friends on social media? Uh, so how, it's obviously a verb. So how do you say this in Spanish? It's pretty much like, it's a simple verb. It's not like uh, friending someone. I think that's a term for that. It's just a, a, just the action of adding. Just, you can even translate to add, okay? <laughs> just translate that. Um, add or adding someone to a list of friends. Okay, ding, 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 we have an answer, yes. K says adicionar, uh, it's, it, it's a pretty, pretty good answer, um, but that's not the correct one. James says, voy a pedir, voy a pedir el o el, K es, es el ganador. Oh, look at that, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Uh -huh. Roger says agregar and que es agregar. Let me tell you guys. Well, I'm going to show you the answer. And yes, agregar. Agregar means to add. <laughs> okay, to add, agregar. And Roger was the first one to answer. So he is going to get a point. Good job. Excellent. Now, Roger, can you please let us know the next number? We have only five numbers left, guys. Only five. So not too many. Okay, yes, also answered correctly. Agregar, yes. Agregar means to add. Uh -huh. Kay says, aprendí una nueva palabra. That's awesome, Kay. That is very good. <laughs> I'm glad. Kay yes, las redes sociales son el rey, pero a veces es demasiado. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, you need to take a break from social media once in a while. I agree with you, Kay yes. <laughs> Kay, Roger says, number nine, número nueve. You got it. Thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Nine across, that is, ooh, it's a long one. It's a long one. <laughs> it's right here in the middle, guys. We see three, three ass. <laughs> ass sorry, that, that sounded funny. Uh, tres ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> It sounds weird. Uh, and one L. A, A, L. Excellent. This also has three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Yeah, twelve letters. Twelve letters. Nine across. 
Mm -hmm. This is a noun. It's not a verb, it's a noun. And let me read the definition. Also, this, this sounds like it's two words, but it's actually one. It's actually one, it's a long one. So let me reset the timer and the time starts now. A phone call using an internet connection that utilizes video to transmit a live picture of the person. So it's pretty much a phone call, but you, you're using also video. So how do you call this in Spanish? A phone call using internet, some internet connection that utilizes video to transmit a live picture of the person. So you use this on Skype. You can use this on Skype. You can do this on Facebook, I believe. Uh, Zoom is like the most popular app right now for that. So how do you call that? Just a phone call that uses video. Aha, uh -huh. ding, ding, ding. We have an answer. We have an answer. K is saying videollamada, videollamada. And let me tell you that you are correct, my friend. Video llamada. Video llamada. So it looks like we have two words, but it's actually one word. In English, I believe that's two words. In Spanish, one word. Video llamada. And do you know what this means? <laughs> this means video call, okay? Just video call. Uh, and K, K was the first one to answer. Great job, K. And I'm going to give you, oops, what am I doing? I'm gonna give you a point. I'm just gonna change the name here. K, awesome. K, <laughs> that is awesome. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, K, can you please let us know the next number yeah roger was almost correct you missed one letter uh-huh and james you answered correctly also k yes but let's see let's see what k says we have number one ten thirteen and three so which one <laughs> k says i joined the game late that's, it's all good, okay? Don't worry about it. Aha, uno vertical. Uno vertical, guys, that's one. Actually, there's only one, um, one across. That's uno horizontal. I know, vertical, horizontal. That can be confusing at times, but um, horizontal, vertical. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same as in, in English, right? So one across, guys, that is um, the word that we're going to guess. That's right here. And we can see that this one is another long word. It has six, nine, ten, ten letters. Yeah, right? Yeah, ten letters. Diez letras. Diez letras. Aha. Uh -huh. William, William, Will is in the house. Hola, estoy atrasado. Me gustan fideos con condimento picante. Picante, that was the word of today's word of the day. And yeah, yeah. Thank you, William, or Will, sorry, for using that excellent or amazing word, <laughs> picante. I love, I love comida picante. Thank you, Will, and welcome. Aha, uh -huh. so let me find mm, let me find the, the definition one across guys aha uh -huh. this one is not too bad it's similar to one that you already guessed and let me uh, start the time now a person who follows content there you go. A person who follows content and creators from YouTube or similar websites. So how do you call a person who follows content specifically 
from YouTube, okay? And other similar uh, or other similar websites, but mainly on YouTube. How do you call to that person who follows? This one is very similar to seguidor, okay? But YouTube has another name. What is that name in Spanish? And of course, this is a noun. <laughs> It's not a verb. So, a person who follows or subscribes <laughs> uh, to different channels on YouTube or similar websites. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. We have a correct answer. And that is from Will. Okay. Will, you are correct. We are talking about suscriptor. Suscriptor. Okay. So let's see the answer. Su suscriptor. Suscriptor. That means subscriber. Yeah, subscriber, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, subscriber. <laughs> That is the answer. Sub suscriptor. Suscriptor. Subscriber. Okay, so uh, Will gets the point. Good job, Will. Okay. Ooh, the score is full. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Will, can you please let us know the next number? We have only three left. Que es influenciador. Aha, uh -huh. that is the person that creates the content. Que es, that's a great answer. But we're talking about uh, suscriptores. Suscriptores, suscriptor, subscribers, subscriber. Okay. Aha, el número three. Thank you, Will. <laughs> okay. Mm, let's see where that is. Número tres. El, nom el number tres. <laughs> And uh, that is right here. Mm -hmm. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. And the first letter is the letter C. And we have an A and O, okay? So, oh boy, we can see a bunch of letters already. So you can start guessing if you want. Let me find the definition. Three down. Okay, so this is a noun, guys, a noun, and the time starts now. A uh, written remark expressing an opinion or reaction. So how do you call a written remark expressing an opinion or reaction? So I, I tell you this a lot. If uh, if you miss the light, well, I don't, I don't know if I say it a lot, but usually I say, if you have any questions, please just leave a what <laughs> down below. <laughs> So, a uh, written, written remark expressing an opinion or reaction. Okay, ding, ding, ding. I see an answer. I see a correct answers. Answers. Aha. Uh -huh. So, ¿qué es es comentario? ¿Qué okay, comentario? Trent, comentario. James, comentario. Roger, as well. And... Yeah, the correct spelling, comentario, K. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I see that. Let me tell you that you guys, you're all correct. We're talking about comentario, comment, comentario. That's what this means, el comentario, the comment. And let's see who answered first. KS, okay, yes, KS. Okay, yes. So he gets the point. Good job, guys. Good job, KS. And we have two left. KS, can you please let us know the next number? 
La gente en las redes sociales hace comentarios positivos y negativos. That's what KS is saying and, and I agree. Yeah, totally. Some people leave positive comments, some others ne leave negative comments. So yeah, you are correct, KS. Thank you for sharing. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have number 10 and number 13. So which one? Which one would you like, KS? K says, buen trabajo, KS. That's nice. <laughs> I agree. 10 vertical. 10 vertical. Okay, you got it. 10 vertical. Mm. That, that's 10 across. 10 horizontal. <laughs> uh, and that's right here. Right here, guys. Six letters. And one of the letters is the letter R. R. <laughs> uh -huh. So, 10 across. Let me see something really quickly. This is actually two words. Two words. And I'm, I mean, usually it's this is one word, but I wanted to just add it as a phrase because you will pretty much say it, say a phrase, not only the word, one word, but um, let's see, let's see, two words, two words, and it's a noun, and I included, the first word is an article, okay, article and a noun. Now, let me find the definition really quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, the time starts, now, two words, the area on a profile or page where friends and fans can post their thoughts, views, or criticisms for everyone to see. So the area on a profile or page where friends and fans can post their thoughts, views, or criticism for everyone to see. <laughs> so how do you call to this specific page? Um, Facebook has that. Facebook, I would say Facebook is the one that has that. And it's just an area, a page. I would say a page. You go to that page and you can po post anything you want. Uh, but you're leaving that on a person's page or profile. Not profile. Yeah, how do you call it? Mm-hmm. Ding, ding, ding. I see. I see a correct answer. Roger says el muro. El muro. And that is the correct answer. El muro. The wall. Specifically, Facebook wall. Okay? The Facebook wall. So, el muro. Usually you say el muro de Facebook. But I didn't want to add Facebook because you can only add the Facebook, right? El muro, el muro, the Facebook wall. And yes, Roger, Roger gets the point. Good job, Roger. Okay, so we have only one word left and that's 13 across, 13 horizontal. And I'm going to remove the number and I'm going to try to find. Yeah, I, I can see the word. It's right here. It has three, six, seven, siete letras, seven letters, guys, seven letters, 13 across. <laughs> this one is very, <laughs> it's a little easy, but I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, we'll see, we'll see. This is a noun, by the way. And let's see, the time starts now. A person who uses social media. So yeah, that is the definition. Just a person who uses social media. You need this in order to use social media. Um, how do you call to that person using social media? So it has to do with using, okay? 
but it's a noun how do you call it and also it has oh sorry what would happen to the timer um it also it has uh um, it has what how many letters seven letters seven letters okay ding 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 i see an answer i see an answer mm -hmm. i see an answer <laughs> and uh -huh, gente normal <laughs> james says gente normal normal people normal people use social media <laughs> that's a great answer <laughs> i love it aha uh -huh. actually the answer the correct answer is williams uh usuario 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 you need this in order to use social media and that means user usuario user will gets the point good job will that's awesome and that is it guys that is it that was amazing i think it was it was very cool to have a timer i think it makes everything a bit more interesting and <laughs> you did it guys you did it so let's read the whole thing all the words you can read this with me and uh and then i'll read the score we will say the officially who won and also i'll add the name to the monthly score so i'm going to change the color here i think we should do i don't know what color what color maybe some blue yeah blue i think blue is fine and let's let's do this let's do this Okay. Subscribe. Oops, what happened? <laughs> what is happening? Hang on, guys. There you go. Sorry about that. Suscriptor. Suscriptor. That means subscriber. Comentario. Comentario. Comment. Nube. Nube, the cloud or cloud, la nube. Etiquetar, etiquetar, to tag someone. Publicación, publicación, uh, post, okay, <laughs> just post. Perfil, perfil, profile. Videollamada videollamada uh, video call agregar agregar to add chatear chatear to chat me gusta me gusta to like or just like el muro el muro the wall the facebook wall Seguidor, seguidor, follower, red social, red social, uh, social media or social network, usuario, usuario, user, and compartir, compartir, to share. Okay, so that was those were the words that you guys guessed correctly and now let's read the score okay so we have k one point james eugene one point as well each of course will has two points roger four points and ks six points so man Officially, we can say that uh, KS is today's winner. He guessed the most words first, and man, KS, 
Congratulations, my friend. You you won today. So that is amazing. And I'm going to add your name to the monthly score. I'm going to put here KS1 right here because you won today. So that is amazing. You should be proud of yourself, my friend, because you know Spanish and you're pretty fast as well. So congratulations. Bravissimo. Well, that's Italian. But bravo. Bravo. Uh, muchos aplausos para que yes. And uh, do you have any questions, guys? Do you wanna? I have a couple of minutes to to chat. <laughs> so let's see what you guys are saying on the live chat. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So K says, "Buen trabajo, William." Yeah, he's also. He's also very fast. He is, he's very fast. He knows a lot of Spanish for sure. Uh, Will says, James, I'm an alien. Then, haha, -ha, YouTube is the only exception. What are we talking about? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> uh, um, Will says, obrigado, K. Okay. Uh, uh, smiley face. And uh, que es, no puedo creer que tenga suerte de nuevo. Larga vida al rey. <laughs> Larga vida al rey. <laughs> awesome. Yes, que es, you did an excellent job today. And all of you guys, you were amazing. Okay, felicidades. Yes, felicidades. Well, I think que es means king of the street. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Guys, man, I'm impressed. You guessed 15 words and you your grammar was great. You guessed everything. I know that this vocabulary is relatively new because, you know, social media is not something old, but it's very present. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm impressed and very happy that you guessed everything. Uh, I had an excellent time. Like, th this was a very good time, guys. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the timer from now on. Uh, and <laughs> let me know if you like it or not. I, I did. I did. I really like, like that. Uh-huh. So, no questions, guys? No questions at all about social media? <laughs> uh-huh. Que uh yes, -huh. todos ustedes también son buenos. That's nice, que yes. Well, James said that usuarios son gente normal. <laughs> I love that comment. Yeah, normal people usually has uh, or have social media, right? So yeah, I know I, it's weird to... If someone is like, no, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Instagram. Um, although I personally should use more my social media because I, I don't post too much on Facebook um, and this channel has so you know uh, Facebook has a Facebook account a Twitter account and Instagram so I should post more there for sure I should I should be more active over there yeah <laughs> I, I'll try I'll try <laughs> uh-huh I see. Mm, Kay says, Gracias, Sugar Astronaut. Fue divertido. Divertido? <laughs> divertido, yes. Thank you, Kay, for uh, tuning in. And thank you, everyone, for your comments, your kind comments, for guessing all the words with me. Like, that was amazing. It makes my day for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, sorry, French autocorrect. I don't have a Spanish keyboard. Do you speak French, Kay? That's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, Kay says, que tengas un día fantástico. Muchas gracias, Kay. Yes, uh, I will. <laughs> I will. I hope the same. I wish you the same, Kay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, fue divertido for sure. For sure, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for 
tuning in again once again remember you can subscribe it's free and also please just smash that bell icon so you can get notified every time i live stream uh, and um give this video a like un me gusta da es, da, denle a este video un me gusta <laughs> Have a, oh yeah, and also check out the memberships. That's one way to support this channel for sure. Oh, okay, speaks French. That is amazing. I, I need to learn French. Oh, I mean, it's a difficult language for sure. James says, gracias por todo. Bye. Gracias a ti, James. And that's it, guys. Have a lovely evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And uh, tomorrow... It's tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. So we will have an exclusive live stream for members only. So don't miss out. Check out the memberships on this channel. And thank you to everyone for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Adios. Buenas noches. Bye-bye.